Hi everyone, today I am going to discuss few important questions based on drug synthesis. These questions are equally important for ZET and NET examination. But in 2021, Kerala ZET examination, two questions are taken from this set of questions. So, these questions are very important those who are preparing for Kerala ZET examination. In 2021, we have noticed that set examination pattern has changed so according to that pattern we have to study this question i have taken from 2021 kerala set examination here the question is what problem might you foresee in labeling a drug as shown first we have to know the meaning of foresee right therefore here the meaning is to realize or understand something in advance or before it happens here N methyl groups are known to be prone to oxidative metabolism and can be lost from the molecule. Therefore, here according to this, option B is correct. The isotope could be lost as a result of metabolic oxidation. The mechanism given uh, option A, C, D are not possible with C14 labeled N methyl group. Therefore, your correct option is B. Next question, which of the following detection method is not commonly used to detect isotopy? Therefore, here, first I am going to consider option B. Here, Nuclear magnetic resonance can be used to detect metabolite labeled with stable isotopes such as carbon-13. Third, scintillation counting is used to detect metabolite labeled with radio active isotopes such as carbon-14. Option D, mass spectroscopy can be used to detect metabolite labeled with isotopes such as deuterium. Here in this question, which of the following detection method is not commonly used to detect isotopically labeled with drug metabolite? Therefore, here answer is option A. This is the correct answer. Next question, which pair of isotopes are likely to result in the greatest isotope effect? Here, we can say isotope effect for the isotopes of carbon and nitrogen are small. are small when compared to the isotope effect between the hydrogen and deuterium. Therefore, here in this question, which pair of isotopes are likely to result in the greatest isotope effect? Therefore, here this one is wrong. This or carbon, carbon. This also wrong. Nitrogen 14 and nitrogen 15, this also wrong. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Hydrogen and deuterium. 
This can be a problem when studying the reaction rate and equilibrium constant but can be put to the advantage in designing drugs with increased metabolic stability. Next question, which of the following isotope is not a radioisotope? Here, option A is the correct answer. Carbon-13 is a stable isotope. 13 is a stable isotope. That can be detected using mass spectrometry or NMR spectroscopy. Detected using mass spectrometry or NMR spectroscopy. The other isotopes are radioactive isotopes. Next question, which of the following isotope has the shortest half-life? Here we can say, fluorine has a half-life of, of 1 ton minutes. Carbon has a half-life of 20 minutes. Tritium has a half-life of 12.3 years. Carbon-14 has a half-life of 5730 years. Both of these radioisotopes have long half-life. And are useful for the metabolic and biosynthetic studies. Therefore, here in question, which of the following isotopes? has the shortest half life therefore here option b is the option b is correct carbon 11 20 minutes What is detected during positron emission tomography? Here the answer is option D, photons. The radioisotope used in tomography are fluorine 18 or carbon 11. Both decay which releases of positron which collides with low energy electrons in the body tissue. The positron and the electrons both annihilated to form two gamma ray photons are created which are detected therefore here the answer is option d photons next question which of the following statement best describe the radio dilution analysis here radio dilution analysis involves diluting a sample of labeled compound with unlabeled compound then crystallizing to constant specific activity in order to determine radiochemical purity of a labeled sample then according to this option d is the correct answer to determine the radiochemical purity of a labeled sample d option d is the correct answer 